just one of those things like, I really just don't need to eat, to eat these. No, I probably shouldn't eat you. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foods for you today. And this was sort of a hodgepodge makeup week, but I have some neutral things. I have some girly things. I have some new things. I'm looking at my face trying to remember all the things. Just kind of a random hodgepodge, but some fun things to talk about. So let's get to it. So I was playing with these cute little things all week. I couldn't wait for this collection to come out. This is the Merle Norman Spring Collection. i would seen pictures of it and you can probably tell why I couldn't wait. It looks like denim. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love denim or if you follow me on Instagram, I love jeans. Like I live in jeans all the time. I think jeans are comfortable. I just like feel myself in jeans. So I love denim. I love denim dresses, denim purses, denim shirts, chambray, the whole nine yards. So anyway, when I saw this, I could not wait for this collection just by the packaging alone, but I really like the products inside. So these are the two eyeshadow quads. There's also a blush duo in the collection. I'm going to do a PR haul. I need to do that soon. Um, there's the duo, a, like a cheek duo, and then there are three lipsticks, but the eyeshadow quads and the blush duo have this adorable packaging. So let's talk about what's actually inside of these. So first off, this one is Status Glow, and this one's the more neutral of the two. This is the one that when I saw pictures of it, I thought, oh, that's cute. That's a nice neutral, you know, everyday quad, but I didn't know that I would like, you know, be like super duper jumping up and down over it. But after wearing it, I man, I think this one's my favorite of the two, but I really like them both. I do have this on my lids today. I do have a darker color in my outer corner because these are mostly all lighter shades, but really pretty, especially the lightest shade and the kind of like metallic-y shade. So pretty. Okay, let me show you swatches. I like that. Doesn't look very impressive, this one right here. But I've, I've used that one on my eyes and I like it, but these three are my favorite. Like this is what I have on my crease. Really nice, blends really well. This one is gorgeous. That's what I have on my lids. And this is so bright and fun. I'm not wearing this one today, but I did wear this um, one day this week with this one. Just a little bit of that on my inner corner. Anyway, it's so pretty. I love it. It's a great neutral everyday palette. It's so nice. The other one is Bluebell. This is the one that when I saw pictures of it, I was like, can't wait because that right there, that's what I have on my lower lash line over a liner. Really pretty. Now, one thing I did notice with this one is I had some fading with it. Now, when I wore this one the other day, just on my lower lash line, I didn't have any fading, but I wore it over a liner like I did today. So I think these might need a little bit of a base to help them hold. But with that um, liner, it didn't move at all. And it looked really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. The day that I saw a little bit of fading was the pink one and the gray one. So I would say if you're gonna wear those colors, wear a base with them. But this blue is so cute. It like, it's just like a little, I don't know, springtime cornflower blue. And I feel like it goes with the denim packaging. It's just cute and fun. And I love the name of it. I love Bluebell. That's adorable. So yeah, um, like I said, I thought this one was going to be my favorite, just looking at the pictures. And I really do love the blue in that one. But I think overall performance wise, I'm liking this one better. I think that one just holds up a little bit more. But they're both really cute. You just might have to use, you know, a base to help these out just with the longevity and lasting power. I got a few things from 100% Pure through Octoly this week to try out. Two of the things I really, really like. One thing I'm not so sure about, but this is one of the things I really like. This is the Fruit Pigmented Blush 100% Natural 100% Vegan, which is really cool. This is in the shade Chiffon. So first off, the outside packaging is absolutely beautiful. I don't still have the note because I think it was on the lid or maybe in the note that they sent with this. Um, that it said this is biodegradable, like you can add water to it and it'll dissolve or whatnot. So I think that's really cool. They just seem like a really conscious company. So anyway, I think that's really neat that they do all those things. So this is a 100% natural blush and it's so pretty. This is what I have on today. It's just a really fun, like bright springy pink. 
so pretty. I've tried some 100% pure stuff in the past, but it's been years. Like I can't even remember what all I tried back then. I think more of the like body and skincare stuff, but I was excited to get to try some of their makeup. So there it is there. Isn't that impressive? I think that's so impressive for an all natural blush. It's really pigmented. It blends really well. Like I don't notice any kind of a difference between this and something that's not natural as far as like performance and what it looks like. It just blended into the skin really nicely. It wore really well throughout the day. So I wore this almost every single day this week, kept grabbing for it just because it's really nice and just a really pretty fun color. I think especially for spring, it's girly, it's springy, it has fun packaging and 100% natural. So what more could you need? Then a highlighter that I've really been enjoying recently and I can't remember if I've actually like mentioned this to y'all or just been intending to. So if I have mentioned it to you, I apologize. I still really love it. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So I heard several people talk about this. Now before I'd even heard anybody say anything about it, I'd seen it at Ulta and it just didn't like intrigue me. Like I didn't really have any interest in grabbing it. But after I heard so many positive reviews, I decided to give it a shot and oh my goodness, this is one of those products that's like totally understated, doesn't look that exciting, but when you get it, it's so pretty. This is what I have on my cheekbones today, on the inner corners of my eyes. This is just a really beautiful, everyday, versatile highlighter. And I say everyday because like, I feel like it's just, you can really like, I don't know, make it work for you and do what you want to with it. Like it can be applied more lightly and be kind of like an everyday subtle sort of a highlighter, but then it really can be built up and I mean, have some good intensity. It's just beautiful, blends into the skin so nicely, really nice texture to it. I think it was four or $5, so super affordable. I love Essence and their pricing. They're just like super duper affordable. And this is such a pretty highlighter, but I mean, did y'all feel this way? Like when you saw it, I'm just like, oh, okay. It doesn't even look like it's gonna be that glowy, but it is, it's so pretty. So I've been using it for a while. And if I've already told you that, I apologize. <laughs> this is one of the other things that I tried from 100% Pure this week. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is my fooey for the week, just because I'm really not overall a fan of this. And maybe it's just like personal preference of like what I thought it was gonna be or something. This is the 100% Pure Lip Caramel and it says colored from Akiyote seeds and fruit pigment. So this is supposed to be like a liquid lipstick sort of a thing. And I got the color Melon Drop, pretty outside packaging. Um, but it's not what I expected. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, a liquid lipstick, um, but it's almost more like a lip lacquer or like a tint and oil kind of a product, but really pigmented. So that's why I say it might just be like personal preference, like just not what I was expecting. Um, it feels very hydrating on the lips. It feels like, like that tint and oil kind of a product. Um, but I don't know. I think something about the mixture of that with the really strong pigment, which is really pretty. It's a really pretty pigment. It just was kind of like, when I started putting it on, I'm like, oh man, I gotta get this just right. And when it started to wear away, it was kind of a little bit uneven. And I think it's just maybe the nature of it being that kind of a product with that strong pigment with it. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. It is really pretty. It is really hydrating. So maybe I probably like this product a lot better in a lighter shade. It's probably the color more than anything, but you have to like that kind of like oil, feeling lip product to enjoy this. But again, it's 100% um, natural, 100% natural, 100% vegan. It says intense, deep saturation of gorgeous colors, colored from fruit, root, and acciote seed pigments in a base of lip softening, pomegranate oil, and cocoa butter. So definitely hydrating, but just, I felt like, whoa, I had to check my lips a lot. So not my favorite thing that I tried out from them this week, but this I really liked. This is the 100% Pure Cocoa Butter Matte Lipstick and I have the shade Current. Let's see what it says about it. It says, 
an ultra matte lightweight lipstick that glides on seamlessly for a soft finish while providing vibrant color from all natural fruit pigments. So again, really cute packaging. I think they do a really nice job with their packaging. This smells so good. So that was like, I noticed the packaging first, noticed the scent second. Like it, it literally just smells like, oh my goodness, berries or like jam or something. It just smells like fruit, it smells so nice. So this is the shade that I have and this is really pretty. It's very pigmented, really comfortable. And I did notice like after I wore it for a little bit, it really set down into my lips and really stuck around. It's just a nice, comfortable, satin matte sort of a lipstick. I wouldn't say that that's like ultra matte, which I don't mind that about it because sometimes ultra matte can be a little bit drying. I like a matte lipstick, so don't get me wrong. But I don't mind when it like kind of starts out sort of satin and then sets down a little bit more. I think that's almost like the ideal scenario where it ends up being really comfortable, but still matte. So didn't move everywhere because of that matte sort of a finish. And it's just a beautiful, like, I don't know, deep pinky red sort of a color. Really gorgeous, so I'm impressed with that. So if you try to go more natural with your makeup, or even if you don't, you just wanna try out a natural makeup line or just a new makeup line to you, I would say definitely check this out and definitely their blushes. Um, and you can make up your mind what you think about the liquid lipstick situation. Another thing that I wore this week that I really enjoyed is this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And this is in the shade Missy and Fierce. So I saw Marnie from Miss Gold Girl talk about this specific shade and I had to go get it because it's really pretty. It's just a beautiful classic red and it's a statement lip. It's a retro sort of a lip. It's just a beautiful red. Now, the thing with these and most every traditional kind of formula liquid lipstick is, it does the they're not their line. It's just more obvious with the colors that aren't like a neutral sort of a color, like Rebel Rose, I really don't notice the line as much. And honestly, I think it's really just when you eat. Like I think that's kind of when it jacks with how it wears because I wore this and then I went to lunch and it did the intense they're not their line. Like I just had it left around the outside of my lips, which looked real bad. So I don't like that about these or really any traditional liquid lipstick. Um, but then I reapplied it after lunch and it wore really well. I wasn't eating for a long time. So I think, I think it's just one of those things like I really just don't need to eat, <laughs> to eat these. No, I probably shouldn't eat you, <laughs> but I shouldn't wear them like when I'm about to go eat. I should pick something else or just wait to put them on after I eat. So because I don't feel like it's this specific formula. I think it's really any traditional liquid lipstick. And if you like that sort of traditional liquid lipstick sort of a formula, these are a great option because they're $5 and they really are comparable with a lot of high-end ones. So they're really a nice formula. It's just one of those things like, that's just sort of the nature of them. So after lunch, after I, when I wasn't eating, I really enjoyed it. And especially the color, it's just a really pretty, fun, classic red. Yeah, I'm really having to scrub to get that off. So I mean, as long as you're not eating, I think they really are good. Okay, on to the next thing. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Lovesick. This is the shade that I'm wearing right now. Did I read Lovesick? Yes, Lovesick is the color. And it's just a beautiful, kind of like cool toned purpley pink. I love this one. I really like wearing this one with um, Mother, which is the shade that I mentioned last week. Together, they're like a beautiful ombre pinky lip. Really, really beautiful. That's a big old swatch right there. <laughs> but even by itself, this one's really, really nice. It's just a beautiful kind of cool toned pink. I already said that, but yeah, it's cool tone pink. Um, and this is definitely one, you know, this is more of a traditional liquid lipstick, but the color of this is closer to my natural lip color. So it, it isn't as obvious when it does that line of there or not there. So I don't know. And I ordered um, Miss Argentina, one of the new colors. It just looks like a really pretty bright, like raspberry fuchsia sort of a shade. So I'm excited to get that. But this one's one of my very favorites. Like if I had to choose, 
I'd say probably overall Mother is my favorite color that I have from this line. Um, but Lovesick is a close second. But really together, I'd say just get both because they're really pretty together, but they're really pretty separate. So anyway, check out last week's Friday Favorites if you want to see what Mother looks like. But anyway, I wore Lovesick this week and loved it. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!